what's up you guys it's your girl baby back again and this is not another episode of pop culture news but i did want to thank y'all so much for all of my new subscribers all of my new followers on instagram youtube twitter i guess it's not twitter anymore but x and all of those other places in my social media profiles thank y'all also for saving me to your apple music favorites uh my mixtape is being re-released on December the 4th, which is gonna be my 38th birthday, and number 11. Um, so yeah, sis, go ahead and check me out. Check me out though. Uh, Y'all can also click the link in my bio, and the link in my bio will direct you guys to my Cameo page. And Cameo is a social media site that is dedicated to connecting fans with their favorite, in my case, a psychic and or musician. Um, I do it all. So I mean, if you want to book a psychic reading, feel free and do so if this is your first psychic reading. If not, and you just want to get a quick shout out from your favorite who done it, then go ahead and do so. Um, I did want to go ahead and talk about a couple things today, but I'm not going to hold you. If you want for me to hold you, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because we talked about it all over there. And I got plenty of tea and dirt and juice to talk about with you guys. But I wanted to go ahead and give a shout out to Megan The Stallion on her new single, Cobra. Uh, the guitar solo was amazing. I listened to it yesterday. But I want to go ahead and say, like, thank you, uh, Megan The Stallion. She, I'm not really thanking her, thanking her, because she may not have done this because of my reading. But I will say that a lot of the things that came out in her song were things that I predicted in her reading. Uh, so check out my Megan The Stallion reading that is available on my YouTube channel. Um, and yeah, like just go ahead and get with it. Uh, also, I say thank you to Megan The Stallion too, because when I released my first single, which was Uzi, and then my follow-up single to Uzi, which was Uzi Extendo, the extended version, obviously. Uh, so Uzi Extendo is the extended version clever i know anyways uh so my extended version to uzi also included a lot of guitar uh and i was like look at hip-hop females using guitar in their songs now obviously i'm not gonna say because i didn't produce her record so it wasn't like she booked with your girl baby but i did really uh enjoy listening to that in there uh hopefully she listens to my music i'm not gonna say she did and that's what influenced her but i will go ahead and say like shout out to hip-hop and female hip hop for expanding over the course of the last, what, 30 years, ever since Lil' Kim got out there with that one titty out. Excuse my French, I didn't mean to say that. Um, but whatever, like I was so really like proud of that. And then also like how deep, how deeply Megan Doug to give us that part of herself was also like immaculate. She talks about her suicidal urges after she was shot by Tory Lanez. She talks about how her boyfriend, Partisan Fontaine, was getting head in the bed where she was sleep at. I'm not sure if in the song she meant that she was laying there asleep with him and he was having somebody suck him off, or if it was like um, just his old egregious behavior and she walked in on him while he was in the middle of having like some rendezvous with another female from a club or whatever i'm not sure all i know is when i heard the lyrics i was like my heart went out to her but also again and this is not to toot my own horn but once again i really am on cameo as your favorite psychic for a reason your girl baby does this but a lot of what i predicted in that reading was that and i said it verbatim partisan fontaine would be the best man she ever had in all her life if she did whatever he had to, whatever he told her to do. But if Megan at any point began to try to assert herself or to be her own woman, that he was gonna be her worst nightmare. And what I heard her say in that song is any woman's worst nightmare. Who wants to walk in and see their husband or their man or the person that they think that they love while she was also number one in like the worst time of her life, she just gotten shot. Her parents, both of them were gone, which she also mis m mentions in the song. And to see him like getting his penis sucked. I mean, that's enough to put a bullet in any nigga or at least a hot pot of grits across the face, Al Green. But it wasn't, it didn't go down like that. She clearly walked away from the relationship. And I applaud Megan for that. I applaud any woman that walks away from abuse. Um, but also, again, my heart goes out to her. But great song, honestly, truly. The... 
the powerful, the power in admitting your truth is that it transcends time, space, and dimensions. Her truth will always be her truth. And whether or not somebody has something to say about that, it's irrelevant. Um, but yeah, whatever. I, I enjoyed the song. I really hope that you guys will uh, obviously stream her song. Uh, and then after you stream her song, Cobra, go ahead and take a gander at my song, which is called, once again, Uzi and Uzi Extendo. And I relied really heavily on guitar and bass. and different Because guitar or bass is guitar, bass guitar. But uh, I relied really heavily on those sounds to really get across what it was that I was feeling. It's something about a good ass guitar riff or a good ass guitar solo. Shout out to my boy Riff City Gus, actually, because I actually met him working a regular, regular job like most of y'all that I know on Instagram. Um, but I met him while working in a call center job and he did like he has he plays guitar for um, I think a death metal band or he used to play guitar for a death metal band and the type of like energy that you can place into a guitar simply by strumming the, the strings, it translates the emotion of that manic, like frankly, to just to be frank, that manic fucking like anger that you feel when somebody kind of like does you dirt, does you wrong or uh, leads you astray or just does something that really uh, is egregious to you. And so I heard it in Megan's song. I heard it obviously in my boy Riff City Gus's music when I was listening to his music when we worked together. And I put that and I infused that energy into my songs, Uzi and Uzi Extendo. So I can't say it enough. Stream my music. It's there for a reason. I really hope that you guys enjoy it. I hope once again that you guys enjoy and support hip hop for many years to come. Uh, and I hope that you guys are also chasing your own dreams. Like let, let this not just be about me. Let this not just be about Megan the Stallion or any other really well-established artist. I'm talking about you out there and you might have your own dreams that you want to express and whether or not they be through expressing them through music, through art, through changing your body, through uh, fixing your hair, your makeup, however you choose to walk into your truth and express your dreams, that's all right with me, baby. And I really hope and pray that you guys enjoy the life that you lead. And I really hope that, you know, you find a way to uh, get that energy out, whether it be anger, sadness, pain, or even just joy. But really, you know, there is no pain without joy. There is no joy without pain. There is no happiness without sadness. And when you find that decent equilibrium between the two of those things, then that's where you find peace. And so I pray that you guys find peace today. I hope that you guys are happy in your own, the life that you're making for yourself. And if for any reason you find yourself unhappy with the life that you've created, then just create something different. Voila, abracadabra, just like that, your life can change. Um, and so, yes, I pray that your life changes. Be well.